Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Uh, oh. Yo. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I go by the name of the the queen of branches. Mm-hmm, honey. The time now is 10 o'clock. If you are new here, a very, very warm welcome to you. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, darling. Thank you for the continuous love and support i really do appreciate it first and foremost please like this video mm -hmm, cha. like it 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 and do leave me a comment you know what today was is supposed to be a day of us being out i got a collaboration with allure rooftop restaurant it's a nice joint it's a nice joint some joints in town it's popping it's popping it's popping they are introducing a, a new i would say segment or maybe even a new i don't think it's a new menu but they introducing this thing that they call boozy boozy brunch boozy brunch b-o-o-z-y brunch okay and y'all know anything that has to do with branching i mean well i was very fortunate to be invited to introduce that and i'm super super excited about it but but it down weather let me show you you guys super super disappointed it's raining i woke up in the early hours and it was raining let me show you what the weather looks like I mean it's not cold it doesn't feel cold but then i quickly checked the weather forecast and it says 19 degrees which is awfully it was just colder than how the weather has been the past week right so it's a little bit it's a cold maybe even boots type of weather because cape town does really get cold so i'm very disappointed in the weather because the outfit that i had the outfit that I had picked up for this for today, it was eating chill. I don't know if I'll be driving or not. You know what? I thought I was gonna break my October today, but I'm thinking let me rather ask them to just mix up um virgin stuff for me. Cause they have like this huge mimo unlimited mimosa going on. It's like serious, serious brunch vibes. So I'll ask them if they can mix me something non-alcoholic. Yo, got it. Okay, let's go. I love you guys. I hope you stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this vlog. Mm -hmm. Let's pump up this day. Bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. Y'all know I'm about to play some Nicki Ninja to get myself in the in the mood of moods. Okay, so I, know I need it, especially with this weather. I need it. All right, my loves. <laughs> That's my playlist from last night. Hey. I have the most horrible, bad, like most horrific news I've I've had in so long. I broke my sobriety, you guys. Like, 
I'm not sober. I'm not sober. Literally four days till the end of October and I drank alcohol. I'm so disappointed in myself. But it's something that I knew would happen because during the week, yesterday actually, I told my friend Ntlantla and my sister that oh, I think I'm gonna break my October because I'm doing this alert thing um, tomorrow, which is today now. But you know what? I went in with the plan of not having alcohol. Like I told myself I'm gonna ask them to make me mimosas with non-alcoholic champagne, but they didn't have non-alcoholic champagne. So the best option was orange juice on its own. Why am I having orange juice in a champagne glass? No or appetizer no so i had <sighs> i drank alcohol today um i don't know why i did it because like i really did regret it because two mimosas down i felt so so tired so so yo not drunk just like tired like just drained yes that's the word I felt so so drained after having one uh, those two and then i had my third one and then as they were bringing my fourth one i was like you know what let me just have a normal cocktail so they made me a cocktail like i was only there for two hours and after the first hour after eating like i just wanted to leave like i felt like such a bad person like my mood was just off you know like i wanted to leave i wanted to leave and yeah i mean the weather's not so great today on a nice sunny day yes the brunch thing would be great i think i would take someone from joburg that's here in town for a brunch there um what they do is they give you a set menu that comes with a meal and the bottomless mimosas um they use graham back for their mimosas so that's good i know most places use like your just like whack mcc right and the food i personally bonolo don't like ordering like food 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 from a drinking place because it's like a drinking place right I'll always, if you know me, if you've been out with me, you know, I'll order things like a burger or wings um, at a drinking place, at a place that is popularly known for drinking. So because it was a brunch menu, I just felt like, let me order something brunch. And because obviously I had to compile like a video for them, I, you know, I was like, let me order something brunch the fries i don't like the smell of oil you guys know i'm very like particular with my oil even your olive oil i do tolerate because it's bougie oil but like if i if there was like a real real substitute for oil i wouldn't have oil so the chips um smelled like oil there was i could smell oil and i could actually taste oil so i don't like the they were the fries were nicely made but like the taste and the smell i don't like it excuse me and then i had a chicken wrap like i just chose chose the safest thing it wasn't too bad but it wasn't the greatest and then yeah i was just like done with the day after eating i was just done with the day i was just done with the restaurant i just wanted to go home so anyways i'm home now um I just put on eyeshadow on my on my eyes. I always like exploring. There's something about green eyeshadow, okay? Like if there's a color that I will always want to try is green and especially mostly when I'm wearing something green. So I got home. I wanted to I always try it when I'm back home because I don't wanna go out looking like a Popeye. So yeah, I tried that. Um I think it's nice. I'm okay with it. I could do this. Sorry, on any other day. So I'm just gonna wash my face now. I'm gonna wash my face with Olusa Organics. 
yes child and then i'm gonna um, watch a movie and sleep i actually took an uber on my way back i was dozing in the in the uber and i was like i can't sleep because like safety but i was like dozing and i was like i just want to get home i just want to get home luckily the place because of traffic was it was actually 17 minutes away not too far so i just wanted to go home i'll come back and sleep um i still feel a little bit sleepy but it's not as as bad as when i was at the restaurant so i think if i just refresh my face i can watch a movie it's it's, it's still early it's like uh, i think it's like four o'clock or something so yeah let's 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 wash our face yeah, so with Olusa Organics, I got products from Nogwazi. She sent them on Thursday, I think. No, no. Wednesday. She sent them on Wednesday. Oh, it's very cute. Wednesday, Thursday. <sighs> yeah, right in time for my... I need to get a new summer... I told you guys. A summer skincare routine. My face is breaking out. I thought maybe it's because... um detoxing because i had i have not been drinking in my defense with the sobriety um if we are being honest i i did my 31 days it's just that not all in october because i did the last week of september i didn't drink at all in preparation for october so i still do have do have like seven days plus 27 days which is more than a month but yeah a little bit disappointing but i i knew i could do it i was gonna do it i just didn't do it <laughs> but anyways next month is november and balissa and i are doing no november no alcohol no sugar no carbs uh you know no bread no da -da 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 but we're actually also doing a 13 days metabolism diet but that has bread actually it has white wheat i think bread white wheat not wheat wheat bread and it's very intense so we are starting that on monday so i think the whole of november i won't be drinking alcohol as well so i can console myself with that um yeah i was just so tired because when i was at the restaurant i was thinking i'm gonna go buy ingredients to make um the virgin mimosa but now i don't even want to leave my house like i just want to wash my face and cuddle up on my couch and just potato on my couch and then yeah we'll see tomorrow is saturday it's the rappy finals i don't know where i'm watching that definitely not here at my house i don't have dstv Oh, SABC one. I think it plays on SABC one. I don't know. I probably do have SABC. I've never really checked it out. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be out tomorrow, but only in the evening at night actually to watch the match. So I'm gonna see you. Yeah, now when I do my face, and then I'm probably gonna see you tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit. I couldn't even vlog. I couldn't even vlog because i had to take content for instagram and tiktok please check out my instagram and tiktok account on instagram i am at bonolo underscore af and on tiktok i am a bonolo mudisha one word small caps yes and then yeah i couldn't vlog much and i was just like so drained there wasn't really much happening as well like it was like literally like five of us yeah it was so weird actually because we were seated at different tables and i wanted to suggest that we come together but i was like bonolo this you are not the marketing what what for this place so you're a guest just be seated where you chose to sit and go about your life so yeah, a little bit weird, but we'll see. We'll see. I will probably edit um the TikTok video and the Instagram reel um when I'm sitting down. We'll see. I'm sure. But my touch, of course, something popping. 
will definitely come out of it but as for the vlog tiny bits incy wincy bits of um what went down there all right cool yo mm. kisses all right all right let me show you what i got i got the um, turmeric soap the turmeric scrub i got the glow serum i got some toner rose water toner and i got the carrot oil let us wash this face yes. did the oil finish Ish. let's grab some wipes don't mind the dirty pack if you know you know okay I wanted to do this sitting down, but I'm thinking you're probably not going to see the whole process. Do you want to see the whole process? The reason I don't feel like you should see the whole process is because I've got nothing to talk about. Like, my life is so dry, Kesana. My life is so dry. Um, But yeah, I don't really think much has been happening. I think the last time we had a chat was when, like a proper chat was when I broke up with my ex-boyfriend um yeah my tea for that while was just dating 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 and now i am not dating i do not plan on dating i am taking a serious break like serious you know what I want to do, actually, hey? I don't believe in wives, gemna, dolls. I do not. What I believe in is... I'll show you. I'll show you what I believe in. If I find it. Should I use a new one? Oh, hey. It's just there. I believe in the sponge sana. This is what I believe in. But usually I use this with a, 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 a cleansing gel. So I'm gonna use the soap. Okay, let's use the soap. Okay, so I'm gonna rub the soap onto the sponge. Work it up a bit. A whole lot actually. So one thing about this turmeric, you all know turmeric, turmeric stains. So I would advise you to get a towel that you know is going to be stained from this turmeric. It's a good thing I decided not to use a new one because my new one is actually white let me show you you see how white it is turmeric in this I just washed it I am going to add I'm gonna put on the scrub I realize I can't find my I don't know what's on my lips I realize that I can't find my here's the scrub I can't find my scrubbing thing because I actually haven't scrubbed my face in the longest of time so here we are guys I just realized Turmeric is so dangerous. I don't want it getting on this top of mine. Sorry for the nudity. Sorry for the semi nudity. I'm so sorry, my angels, but I can't do too much. Let me go find the top now. Just to make it up in here. Much better. Yeah. 
Look at the big mirror. Tell me why I'm not taking off my earrings while I do this. I'll tell you why. Because then I don't look like a girl. I look a, I look like a boy. I literally look like my son. I believe I look like my son without earrings. Mess. Oh yeah, so I was saying, yo, Alisa chulo na ra asana. Hose ho tu se ha holo joali. I was saying, Khorem, yes, so I won't be dating for a very long time, long while, I think. Um, I just want to, like, emotionally cleanse myself, uh, cleanse myself, cleanse my soul, you know, and my selection of guys has now minimized yes i want to strictly strictly date god-fearing men i want to date guys that like literally go to church all the time not every sunday but like all the time and not every sunday because there's something else that they really cannot get out of but they need to go to church i need a man that goes to church you know so that's where i'm at my selection is like minimal 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 um and like it's a no if you talk to me and you're not about god it is a no like no no, I'm literally not talking to any nigga right now. I don't want to be talking to any nigga right now. And obviously, like I've said, my selection has just minimized. It's not because I hate men or anything like that. No, I'm just like not talking to any men. Any men. Any, any, any men. Right. And I'm like dead serious about it. If you don't go to church, don't even come close to me okay i probably should scrub my chest as well my chest always does this funny thing when summer and my back and like my upper my shoulders where i get pimples and then not, i'm just a person that's what is that what is that when it's summer i just get all these <coughs> funky things on my body so i'm gonna leave the scrub for a while <sighs> and then we'll come back we are back next up a toner i'm so used to <laughs> next up toner okay so the reason i specifically am only going for god-fearing men is for many reasons one that i will mention with you guys just now i mentioned my reason and we all run off to God fearing man. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna reserve other reasons because just now you're like, hmm, this girl is smart. I'm also gonna go for God a God fearing man. And we all go for God fearing man. And now we all line up like I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I'll just mention one. Like, I just want a man that when we have troubles or troubles arise because they'll i believe there'll always be challenges trouble in the form of trouble and i just want a man that will run to god before anything and anybody else you know and essentially like if they're just battling with something in our relationship they just go to god first you know or if they just do they make a mistake they run to god first and and if they are to do something maybe hurtful or like a mistake and they apologize i feel like i would the for me 
the apology would be more genuine as to someone who says i'm sorry baby i'm sorry i'm sorry like i don't want you to say i'm sorry for the sake of say of saying you're sorry i want you to know why you're sorry and to mean it because i feel like if you go to god first and ask for forgiveness by the time you come to me you know it's like you're not bluffing me because if you're bluffing me then it means you are bluffing god and if he's a god-fearing man i don't think it's about bluffing god you know so yeah i think it'll just make it not yeah it will make it easier it will make it easier it will make it different like i can tell you now that you know my life is very much different from when i was not god's child a god-fearing woman it's very different like i think differently i do things differently and i would want a man who would do things that way as well you know just different from any other normal normal way to do things so yeah let's just pack it there because hey, we can go on and on and on and on and on and on so tona done um i like wearing the serum at night and the carrot oil during the day so i don't know you guys want to see i really love both the effects of these products the feel on my skin this literally feels like i've just put on vaseline like it's not just oil but it's like moisturizing oil if you feel me it's just and it makes my skin feel so mushy and soft and like really fed like well fed you know so hmm. let's put the serum and then i'll put a little bit of carrot oil but then i'm gonna be super 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 shiny but let's just do it okay <laughs> if i can tell you guys what i'm doing i'm doing videos in portrait as well as landscape so some i'll start with the portrait because i want to do a a reel and a tiktok video maybe for olusha organics and then i'm also doing this for my vlog so this is how oily And what I like about it, because I, like I said, I normally put the oil at night. I like how even when I wake up, like my face is still glittering, honey. It's probably not my pillows are probably on top, but it has always been like that with any other product. Like at night, my face needs to be. My pillows are probably. Don't think I'm the best. I'm the best owner in the world. But there we go i already sprayed this for the real so <laughs> i'm just gonna do like two sprays okay <laughs> one went straight to my ear but i'm not complaining so this is it glittering 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 i'm gonna watch housewives of lagos now and then i'm gonna prepare something for dinner if I don't see you, I'll see you on another day. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. subscribe. Remember, this skincare is skincare under 500 rands. We're going to do it for the next. Mm, I'm thinking. For the next. We'll do it for a month now. And then. We'll give a review. Maybe even after two weeks, we can do a review. Okay. Like, subscribe, comment. Mm.